Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Thanks for joining. We're hoping to get through a lot today, so I will dive straight into it. Right, so the first question we have is, when applying for a job as a fresh graduate, what are your suggestions? Should one go for small, medium, or large-scale companies in order to build a competitive career? It doesn't matter if it's small, if it's medium, or if it's large-scale. Pick something you're passionate about, focus on a company that resonates with your values, big, small, or medium size, um, and lastly, work like your life depends on it. Okay. What skills would you say are important for success in 21st century? Workplace, Oof, adaptability. Things are going to change even more radically than they have in the past. Uh, you know, as we go into this uh, information revolution, I believe that a lot of what we do today um, would have to be done differently. We need to be adaptable, we need to change, we need to learn fast, and we need to understand that um, in a world that is full of this level of change, we will very quickly be left behind if we don't, uh, if we don't do something about it. If I have a degree in anything other than engineering, how do you advise I break into the oil and gas sector? You're welcome. Yeah. I don't have an engineering degree. You could still work in the oil and gas sector and not be a driller. Um, and in the event you want to be a driller with a different degree, um, you can still become a driller. There's just a training path that you have to work through. Um, but you're more than welcome. I'm not passionate about the work I do anymore. Okay, that's fair. Do you think it matters if your career is something you're passionate about? It always helps to be passionate about your career. Um, I don't think you would excel to the heights that you potentially can reach if you strap passion onto what you're doing. So I, do, I don't know, I can't advise you to stay in the job if you're not passionate about it. What are the most important soft skills I need to be an effective manager? Soft skills. Be kind. The essence of not being at the top of the organization is that you are likely to make mistakes. How those mistakes are treated and how you gain the experience and motivation to do better next time, it's all centered around kindness. Just be kind. What should you look for or look out for in a mentor? Ooh. Once you strike a conversation with these people, it's often very, very easy to tell if there is a bond, a synergy, a true care and love and a desire to see you succeed. Um, and when you do, pick one of them. How do you push through setbacks? Whew, your heart. So I think having that discipline or that focus that, uh, you know, over your dead body in some, in some ways, you would never let this happen again. It has to be driven by something. And, and for me, it's, I need to self-reflect, look at where, where I could have prevented it from happening, the knowledge I had, and how in the future we make sure it doesn't happen again. Um, but with every setback, I know there's a, there's a silver lining. So uh, some people would disagree, but I've learned not to take them so, so hard to yes, tight it to my chest. What's the difference between a career and a job? Well, a career you attend to on a daily basis with your heart and your mind, a job to you attend nine to five every day. Uh, how do you balance work life and social life? <laughs> uh, people believe I don't have much of a social life, but I, I think I do. I try to stay physically active and healthy, um, and I ensure that I am able to meet with people that I love and truly care about and appreciate their company, not just um, people for people's sake, um, from time to time, because I find those engagements actually energize you. Yep, whilst I have no more questions, I would like to say goodbye and God bless.